So I've just continued to kind of paint a little bit more. I'm getting ready to wrap this one up. You can see that I've added a little, little bit of uh, detail work here with opaque paint. This <clears throat> shadow side of the apple is basically that same wash that I put down. I have floated a few little uh, more saturated washes over the, the shadow because of the saturation of this. So this needed to be, uh, the shadow needed to be a little bit more intense, a little bit more saturated. Uh, same with the cast shadow. But you can see where the watermarks, if this was a tr traditional uh, watercolor painting, a lot of these uh, watermarks that uh, I get from just really watered down pigment and I put it onto the board and then just let it dry and you get some really beautiful watermarks because of the gum arabic, the binder in the, the gouache paint. So I'm just going to keep painting on this for just a little bit uh, longer and then we'll wrap it up. So I'm going to add just a little bit more, I, I think the uh, background is I'm painting off screen just a little bit right now but I'm just adding I'm just adding a little bit more opaque white paint to that background color so I'm just going to uh, come in and lift the value of the background just a little bit more lighten it up just a little bit more I'm going to carve into that uh, stem and I'm going to, now I, again, I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm going to put a brush stroke down and I'm going to leave it because if I, if I fuss with it, it'll activate the layer underneath and it'll become a little bit more uh, muddy because of the reactivation. So I'm just going to lift or lighten the value just a little bit so it looks more like a, a dark apple on a light background. The one thing that I wanted to mention that is really vitally important that you realize as you start to do your gouache painting is that you cannot glaze. With oil paint you can glaze, with acrylic paint you can glaze, but with uh, a gouache painting you cannot glaze because if you glaze and try to float a, a glaze over the existing color or image what happens is it reactivates what's below it and it becomes very muddy so you don't want to do it so that's why I think gouache is a really powerful medium for confidence because you can't You've, you've got to paint opaquely over the stuff that, over the image that you need to, uh, to influence. And then you have to leave it. Because if it's not the right color or the right value, you can't, you can't mess with it with glazing. So I'm just going to warm, warm this up just a little bit over here in the background against that cool shadow of the apple. And I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit. So that it will uh, look a little bit more warm against that, against that um, cool side of the shadow. Then with some of that warmth, I'm going to blend it over into the cools that I just put down. Clean up that edge just a little bit.
Okay. And I'll kind of wrap it up to kind of about where I want it to be uh, for the demo of the classic gouache. Again, all it was was a, a cold press illustration board. Then I did a quick little graphite drawing of the apple onto it. And then I started with thin washes. Uh, I tried to keep it in the, the realm of analogous or into the blues and blue greens. Uh, tried to keep it as neutral as I could so that when I did bring some saturations into it, it looked uh, really saturated. Whereas in reality, the, those saturations aren't very saturated at all. But against all those neutrals and grays, it looks saturated. So that's about where the demo is. I'll hold that up closer to the camera so you can see some of the detail work. Some of the watermarks. Down there at the bottom of the painting is raw board. Again, you can have fun with leaving some of the raw board. Uh, you don't have to cover everything. And now comes my favorite part where I'm going to remove the mask or the tape. To reveal that nice clean gouache edge or watermark edge. Side. So you can get the full effect of this. This is my favorite part. To reveal that nice clean Edge for the painting. Again, you don't have to mask if you don't want to, but I that's just one thing that I love to do. Sometimes the tape is hard to get off of there. Piece of tape left that tore. Get that off of there. And there's the painting that is uh, now finished for the most part. And the tape is taken off so it reveals that nice clean edge. And that's your classic gouache demo.